I'm Gloria Starr, International Impression Management, Etiquette, Manners, Communication, and Leadership Coach. Why are manners and etiquette so important? Well, when you know the proper thing to say and do in each and every situation, you will be welcomed at all events and you will become an ambassador for yourself, your company, and your country. So, manners and etiquette apply in every situation. Let's begin with meet and greet skills. When you meet someone, look them directly in the eye, smile, introduce yourself by name, and shake hands. Now, a good handshake is a full hand clasp in this portion of the hand, shaking two or three times up and down, not from the wrist, but from the elbow, and keeping your elbow in close to your body rather than out, and you'll be able to give a good handshake. Yes, women and men shake hands these days in many cultures, but not in all. And generally, a man does not know if a woman wants to shake hands or not. So the woman in our North American society should extend her hand first to the gentleman. A firm handshake is important, but not a bone crusher. And if somebody is shaking your hand and they give you one of those little lip handshakes like this, then I recommend that you slide your hand in further and give them the good handshake. And so ambassador skills and knowing how to shake hands are vitally important. When you introduce yourself, state your first and your last name. Now what happens when you meet someone that you recognize them and you can't even remember their name? It happens to all of us. So I usually go up to them and say, Hello, I'm Gloria Starr. I'm so happy to see you again. We met last month at the networking meeting. And I've forgotten your name. Could you help me out? Thank you. And that works. It makes them feel recognized and honored. And you've got the problem solved because you took over and moved right into the correct solution for not knowing someone's name. Every situation has manners and etiquette rules. Our challenge in our society today is, is that many of the parents don't know etiquette in their 30s and 40s, and that means they're not teaching their children either. So we have two generations where etiquette really has not been taught. Many families sit around the... A living room and have their dinners rather than at a proper dining table. So if you don't know the tools of the table, then you don't know the rules of business. Every single thing counts. If you're at a business dinner, what kind of conversations are appropriate and what are not? What if the food is passed to you and you don't want it? Yes, you have to accept it anyway and then pass it on to the next person. One of my favorite gestures when dining at a table is the Korean gesture showing the greatest level of respect for someone. So if I'm passing something to my guest, I would be passing it by looking at them using my right hand with my with holding the item that I'm going to give them the food and then my left hand I'm going to touch my wrist I'm going to look at them bow slightly and smile and that is the gesture showing great respect for the person that you are interacting with so when you become an ambassador for yourself your company and your country you will be welcomed at all of the right parties and the right events I've had the pleasure of working in Nigeria with the First Ladies of Nigeria, uh, teaching etiquette lessons at the Pentagon and the U.S. Army, and I've even worked at King Abdullah's Palace in Saudi Arabia and worked with the family members of the ruler of Dubai. My career has spanned 28 years, and I still love it. It is vital both in personal and in business situations. Gloria Starr, the etiquette expert of choice.